All right, today we are talking about seller's assist, all right, very popular uh, situation that you see in today's market and lends a lot of confusion, especially to our sellers. So let me just first off say, listen, get those two terms out of your brain, especially as a seller. I mean, to me, uh, that, th those two words is what contributes to all the confusion surrounding it. All right, you are not physically taking your hard-earned money and giving it to a buyer so that they can purchase your house. That would obviously be crazy. What all they're doing, the buyer is just simply making a decision as to whether they want to roll their closing costs into their mortgage and pay those closing costs over the next 30 years. All right, so your house is listed at $300,000 in the greater Philadelphia area. Closing costs on the buy side tend to be about 5%. All right, so that would be $15,000. So the buyer is just going to make a decision, assuming they can get approved by their lender, whether they want to roll those closing costs into the deal. So they would offer you three fifteen. dollars all right, um, you would net $300,000. And those fifteen thousand dollars would just become a part of the mortgage. All right, why would a seller? Why would a, excuse me? Why would a buyer want to do that? Two reasons. One, they may just want to be conserving some money. All right, they want to leave as much money as they can in their bank account. You know, so maybe, maybe there's some repairs they want to do to your to your house, or maybe they want to repaint things like that. They're just trying to conserve cash. Also, in today's market, you know, rates are extremely low, historically low rates that we're seeing right now. So it may be also. A mathematical reason why the buyer wants to do it. You know, they may think they could, with that savings in their bank account, they could reinvest that money at a higher rate. All right, but what's important to you as the seller is just understand what your net price is. It's really all that matters. You're going to have, when, when a seller's assist or when the buyer is financing his closing costs, you're going to have a gross sales price and a net sales price. Just understand what your net is. That's really the most important thing. Definitely a question you're going to want to talk with with your realtor and understand that. Okay, you also want to know from a seller's perspective is what impact will it have on my appraisal? Okay, very important question um, because the appraisal now has to come in at that gross sales price. So that's really the biggest risk from you as the seller. Sometimes it doesn't you know, mean a hill of beans, sometimes it, it, it can be a very big deal. So these are just two discussion points you're going to have with your realtor. All right, if you want to get more information, check, check us out on the web, therealestategps.com. Thanks for listening, that's your quick hit.